All right, so Candace Owens, uh, after leaving the Daily Wire, you know, she's been sort of paving a new lane for herself, let's say. And this lane uh, also now includes conspiracy theories. Uh, she's trying to give herself a little bit of an Alex Jonesy type vibe. And uh, man, this one right here is extreme, even for the likes of somebody like Alex Jones. I don't think I've ever heard him comment on this particular theory. She's gonna flirt a little bit with Flat Earth, and uh, she's gonna have a little something to say here about science. Listen to this. You guys imagine being married to me. I mean, my poor husband, he rolls over. He's like, what are you reading? And I feel like a regular wife says something, I don't know, maybe a love series, Nora Roberts sweeping her away. Me, on the other hand, he rolled over, he asked me, and I said, oh, I'm reading a flat earth theory. <laughs> And it dawned into an entire conversation. He's like, why are you why are you reading a flat earth theory? And I'm like, because somebody messaged me on Manect about it and they included some links and I'm just reading them. I don't know. I'm just an interested person. No matter what, if there's a bunch of people that believe something, I now want to know what it is that they believe. And of course, he pushed me on this and he was talking about the earth curvature and science. And I said to him, listen, I, I'm, I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a round earther. Let me quote that. I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a round earther. I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a round earther. Oh, so you're agnostic on very, very basic scientific questions that are easily checkable and verifiable. How is this viewed as a serious perspective? God, the internet has ruined people's brains. I'm sorry, man. I mean, Twitter in a unique way has ruined people's brains, but the internet more broadly, like on the one hand, it's a blessing to have all the information available in the world at your fingertips any second of the day. On the other hand, guys, it's also fertile ground for charlatans and con men and frauds and people who are super charismatic, but just wrong. I mean, you can convince people of anything if you package it in a clever way. And a lot of people will just, Fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. And that's what we're looking at here, but we're not done yet. And he was talking about the earth curvature and science. And I said to him, listen, I, I'm, I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a round earther. Actually, what I am is I am somebody who has left the cult of science. I have left the mega church of science because what I have now realized is that science, what it is actually, if you think about it, is a pagan faith. Oh my God. Oh my God. Science is just a method to determine the truth. That's what, it's a method to determine the truth. It's not a pagan faith. Oh, uh, uh. she said, I've left the cult of science. Oh, have you, Candace? Well, I got news for you. It has not left you. Why do I say that? Look at this tweet. This is a brilliant tweet. Quote, I've left the cult of science, she declared, on her live stream sent over high-speed internet while speaking into a sound amplification device, staring at a laptop computer and drinking from a vessel designed to keep hot, to keep hot and cold liquids at their original temperature. Pff, I don't even science, bro. I don't even, I don't even believe in science and stuff, bro. I believe in shitty uh, theories posited on Reddit forums from 2017 by a fat dude in his underwear in his mom's basement. Bro, can we, can we stop with this? Can we stop with this? Look, I will acknowledge flirting with conspiracy theories is fun as fuck. And in fact, I'll go as far as to say there are some things that were viewed as quote unquote conspiracy theories, which turned out to be true. It turned out to be real. You know, Operation Northwoods, the Bay of Pigs. There's a lot of things that, you know, we didn't get the truth in the moment. And then later on in retrospect, you come to realize, oh, we were lied to. This thing that people said wasn't true actually is true. But there are also plenty examples of the opposite. There's also plenty examples of the conspiracy theorists just being fucking idiots and losers and weirdos and wrong. That's also a thing. You know, why, why are we pretending in this new internet age that what? Anytime anybody says something that bucks the establishment narrative, it is by definition correct. No, that's its own version of brain worms. That's its own version of dogmatism. It is a counterculture that has become just its own mainstream culture, right? Like, it, and this is where this comes from with, with Candace Owens. It's this idea that, you know, the establishment is lying to you. Therefore, now let's go reevaluate like whether or not fucking gravity is real. Like that's where this goes. It reminds me of the people 
who um, they take a healthy skepticism of big pharma and they turn it into like, I'm just anti-modern medicine, right? No, you can be skeptical of big pharma, namely like the profit motive in all of our all of our medicine and all of our drugs. That's a huge problem. The structure of the system is a huge problem, but that doesn't mean that antibiotics are a conspiracy, right? That doesn't mean that painkillers don't actually kill pain. That doesn't mean that vaccines are a giant scam and they're actually poisoning you and uh, you're gonna die in 17 years if you take this vaccine or whatever. Are you fucking kidding me? And that's what's happened. People have become so distrustful of institutions and of the establishment that now their default perspective is whatever they say, the opposite is true. And that is dogmatism. That is religious fundamentalist-like thinking. No, you have to evaluate the merits of a given conversation on the evidence in that field, on that topic. Everything you need to evaluate on its own merits, on its own evidence, one by one. But no, so, you know, so, uh, so edgy, such an outsider, so anti-establishment that now, pff, bro, I was just reading this flat earth theory to see maybe they got, maybe they got some points, bro. Cause you know, those science people, they're just part of a pagan faith. Oh my God, what are we gonna do with these people, man? What are we gonna do with these people? And by the way, massive clicks, right? Massive clicks. The more she flirts with this, there's a terrible incentive now for her. The incentive is the more batshit theories I talk about, the more eyeballs I get on me, the more people watch my program, it incentivizes her to keep going down that path, to get more eyeballs, more views, that leads to more money. And so there's a, a feedback loop there, an incentive structure, that makes it so she will progressively get more and more idiotic. And that's, you know, that's uh, in a lore that not many people are equipped to walk away from. A lot of people, a lot of many better people than Candace Owens have fallen down this rabbit hole of, you know, audience capture. Let me feed them whatever the fuck they want to hear. And oh, would you look at that? It turns out one of the things that they're kind of interested in is if I shit on science and say, maybe flat earth. And usually, look, she's smart enough to not go all the way with it. But, you know, she was dumb enough to say Macron's wife actually is a man. And I don't know, does she believe in the Michelle Obama's a man theory too? So anyway, this is politics in the year of our Lord 2024. This is politics. On the one hand, running for president, you have a guy who's clearly sundowning. His brain is not working. He insists, bro, I'm, I'm tip top shape. I'm doing great. That's one of the guys. He's the only thing standing between us and rank authoritarianism on Trump. On the other hand, what do you have? A guy who's a convicted criminal, who's an extremist, who promises to reject the results of the election if he loses. This is what you got to like, overturn Roe versus Wade. Like, these are your options at the top of the ticket. And then here are the talking heads below. Here's the stuff that's going on in right-wing circles online. Really makes you feel doomer pill, doesn't it? Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.